How do you multiply 5 tenths times 3 tenths? In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply decimals by decimals by using an area model. Let's review. You're probably familiar with using base 10 blocks to represent numbers. For example, a group of 100 would equal 100, two groups of 10 would equal 20, and three singles would equal 3, so this would represent 123. Today we're going to use this differently so that we can represent both whole numbers and decimals or fractions. So here we're going to be showing a whole unit is ones, and then when we divide that into 10 pieces, that will represent tenths, and when we further divide that into 100 pieces, that represents hundredths. Here's how it would look. For 100, sorry, for 1 and 23 hundredths, we would have one whole, two tenths, and three hundredths. And you can see that on our base 10 chart, that that equals 1 and 23 hundredths. A common mistake that a lot of people make is forgetting to take the decimal into consideration when multiplying. So when you're multiplying 3 tenths times 5 tenths, we're not going to get an answer of 15. That just wouldn't make sense. Let's start by making a smart estimate as we tackle this problem, 5 tenths times 3 tenths. What do we know already? Well, we know that 5 tenths is 1 half, and we know that 2 tenths is pretty close to 3 tenths. And if we're using smart rounding, we don't have to round to a specific place value we can round to something that is close to a number and easy to work with. As I think about one half or five tenths of two tenths, I know that half of two tenths would be one tenth. So my estimate is that this is going to be a little more than one tenth for our answer. Now let's give this a try. Here I have my grid broken down into hundredths, and I'm going to start by showing what it would look like if I had put in three tenths. So you can see three one-tenth pieces are filled in, or thirty hundredths. Then I draw five tenths horizontally. The area where they overlap shows five tenths of three tenths. Let's take a look. If we wanted to combine those five tenths of three tenths, I could take one of the pieces, two of the pieces, three of the pieces, all three of those pieces, and I would be able to see that that's one-tenth and five hundredths. This is a reasonable answer, since it's close to my smart estimate. Let's try another one. Susanna has four tenths of a box of paper, but she promised to share five tenths of it with her friend. How much paper will she have? So I'm going to have four tenths times five tenths. Well, I know that five tenths is half, and half of four tenths is two tenths. So my smart estimate is I think we're going to come up with an answer that is around two tenths, or exactly two tenths. Let's try drawing it. I'm going to start by drawing four tenths, four one tenth pieces vertically, and then horizontally I'm going to draw five tenths, which is half of my grid. You can see the space where they overlap shows me where there is four tenths of five tenths. Let's combine each of these pieces so we can see what they actually make. So four tenths of five tenths is two tenths or twenty hundredths. This is a reasonable answer since it matches my smart estimate of 20 hundredths. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply decimals by decimals by using an area model. 